What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and today we're gonna be doing another episode of Ask Majestic. So if you've never seen this before, this is basically where I go through a bunch of videos on the channel where you guys ask me questions that I think are good or sometimes funny questions, and I just answer them for you. So I try to do this every few months, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So the first question is gonna be from Brooke and Brooke says, does this guy sound like Will Smith's voice? Now, I actually been getting this a lot lately. I think that might be in the 10th time I've actually heard that. I don't think I sound like Will Smith, but I'll let you guys tell me. I've seen every time I see it pop up, I think it's weird, but the comments always get a lot of likes. So maybe people really think I sound like Will Smith. I don't know. So you guys decide on that one. Uh, the second question is gonna be from Alec. Alec says, thanks for the no nonsense review. Thanks for the no endorsements. Thanks for the very low background music. Better no music, but okay still. And thanks for keeping the volume consistent. Now, this is something that I fight with a lot ever since I started the channel. Do I have background music or not? Now I'm kind of a big hip hop head, so I like to use hip hop instrumentals in the back of my videos and I always thought that it was something kind of cool and different to do, but it seems to annoy certain people, especially the Shook Ones instrumental on the HDMI video that I did. And it did kind of get a little annoying in that video, but I want your guys' opinion. Do you think that I could keep should keep doing background music in my videos or do you think it's annoying and it might take away from what I'm trying to say? That's something I fight with a lot, so that's a really good question for the channel. The next question is gonna be from Juan. Juan says, this is a great video question. How do you connect TV, no arc mode to soundbar with arc mode using standard HDMI? Is my only choice optical cable or TV upgrade? Now, some older TVs don't have arc and if you don't know, you can go back and watch the video. I'll post a link um, that'll pop up here for you to watch that video. But basically, arc allows you to send sound from your TV's HDMI back down to your soundbar or your home theater receiver. Now, if your TV doesn't support arc, you can use optical, but using optical, you kind of lose some of the higher end formats like Dolby Atmos or DTSX. Now, one alternative you do have other than using optical is actually to use an arc extractor or an hdmi audio extractor and they aren't really that expensive you can find some on amazon i'll post some links in the video description um so definitely try that out instead of upgrading your tv all right the next question is from brian brian says thank you for the outstanding and amazingly informative reviews is there a reason you haven't reviewed epson projectors you gave honorable mention in your best 2018 to the epson 5040ub but not seeing much besides that just trying to stack up what's out there brian that's a great question and you're right i haven't really reviewed reviewed any Epson projectors on the channel. Now I have had the opportunity to do a ton of testing with Epson projectors going to local places where I actually have access to them, but it's really hard to get them from them. I don't know what it is, but I have reached out to them several times and they have told me that they are they have everything out on loan right now. So as soon as I can get my hands on an Epson, Epson projectors, I will, but trust me, I'm definitely trying. All right, so the next question is gonna be from Larry B and he's talking about the Wise Cams and he says, they have not been $20 in many, many months. Since this is a new video, why are you using Using the old price. Now, Larry, I'm not sure if you went to the Wise website, but they are still $19.99 or $20. However, they do charge you about five bucks for shipping, so it's more like $25. Now, if you go to other retail stores like Amazon, you will see them for like anywhere between $25 and $30, and that's just because it's up to them to sell it at that price. I technically could have probably said that it was 25 bucks, but if you go on their website, I'm just going by what they have on there. All right, so the last question is gonna be from The Current Christian, and they say, is there a way to connect surround sound directly to the TV? We had a Simply Roku TV remote set up, but after installing surround sound, we now have have this remote that is way too complicated for my parents to use. Not only that, but some of the buttons on the remote have now disabled the surround sound so it isn't even working anymore. Now, this is kind of a complicated situation and it's different for most people. So the best way to handle this situation is gonna be using ARC. So if you have a, you already have a cable going between your TV and a set-top box, if you have an available port on your TV that's not being used that says ARC on it, you can actually use an HDMI cable to go back to your sound bar or your home theater receiver and actually control that through the same remote. And when you adjust the volume on the Roku or on the TV for that matter with those remotes, it's actually gonna control the volume on the soundbar or the home theater receiver. So if you take a look at the video I did about how to connect a soundbar or some of the other videos I've done about how to wire this stuff up, I do kind of cover that. So you definitely wanna use ARC if you can because that is the best option. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and make sure you let me know in the comment section because I can do these videos more often. They are a little bit easier to do than most product reviews. And I do 
have a lot more awesome videos coming up in the future. I've got some Wi-Fi shootout coming up. I got a bunch of wireless devices and stuff. Got projectors coming up. I got a lot of stuff that I'm backlogged on because I'm kind of taking a break. But please go ahead and hang in there with me and I will see you guys in the next video.